today we're going to do some magic paper towel art. So first let me tell you some things that you're going to need. You're going to need some paper towels. It really doesn't matter what size you choose. I like to have the smaller size, but you can choose any size that you would like. You're going to need a permanent marker like a Sharpie. Bix markers will also work as well. But you're going to need a permanent marker like a Sharpie. And then you're going to need some washable markers like Crayola regular markers. You're also going to need something with water in it. I have a tray, a flat tray that has some water in it, but you could also use a bowl for water if you would like. And then you're probably going to need a tray or a space um, to dry your project on because it's going to get wet in a minute and you'll see that. Alright, so to start, you're going to get a paper towel and you're going to fold it in half. So you're just going to fold it in half so that it looks kind of like a little card that can open and close. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the permanent marker and you're going to draw on the front. So it's like the cover of the card. So you're going to draw a picture on the front of your paper towel. And you can draw anything you want, a self-portrait, you can draw an animal, you can draw um, flowers, symbols, you can even write words on it. So you're going to draw a picture using your permanent marker. I'm drawing just with a black sharpie because I'm going to do colors with the other markers, but if you wanted to use colorful sharpies you could do that as well. So I'm just going to draw a little picture of a butterfly. So there's my picture of a butterfly. Let's put the lid on the Sharpie. And then I'm going to open up my paper towel. It maybe bleeds through a little bit. The Sharpie marker might bleed through to the other um, side of your paper towel, but that's okay. It's nothing to worry about. And then I'm going to take my washable markers, so I'm using the Crayola markers, and I'm just going to fill this side of the paper towel, not the back of my drawing, but the inside that was not on the other side of my drawing, just with some colors. So I'm going to do some red in the corner. If you want to put something under your paper towel, like um, a newspaper or another paper under it to keep you from getting um, marker on the table, you can do that just to help out. So I'm going to add some orange and then I'm going to do yellow. So I'm going to do the order of the rainbow under here. So I'm just going to color it in. It doesn't have to be your best coloring. It doesn't have to have amazing craftsmanship back here because you're not going to see this part most of the time. Just want to get a good amount of color. So there's green. And so now I need blue. Remember when you're putting your markers back up to make sure that the lid snaps on. Remember you don't want your markers to dry out. So make sure that the lid snaps on there. And let's see, now I'm going to add some purple. And then I'll have this space filled in with color. Alright, so there's my colorful part of the paper towel with the Crayola markers. Then I'm going to close my paper towel again so that I see my Sharpie butterfly on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to place it in the tray or bowl of water. And the water is going to make that color from the inside come onto the front of the paper towel. So let's see what happens. And it's magic! Once you have it on there, take your two fingers and two hands and pull it out to a tray to dry and you'll have a colorful piece of artwork. 
and then you can use your materials to make more. Um, it's very fun and magical to see. I even like how the colors swirl together in the water. So it's a very fun project that you can do at home with your family. All right, guys, I hope you have fun with the magic paper towel art. I can't wait to see what you do.